everybody. This is Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. Today we are going to talk about two pieces of hardware and two pieces of software and how they work well together to create a multi-action switch to toggle between using your headset and using your speakers. If you're streaming or creating creative content and you don't want any outside sounds like your speakers coming through your mic, then you're going to want to make sure that you're recording or streaming through your headset. Now, if you're not streaming, you're not doing any creative content and you're watching movies, listening to music, playing a game, that you're not recording live with commentary, then you're going to probably want to switch to your speakers. So I'm going to show you how to do that with using your Wave 1, Wave 3, or Wave XLR mic, your Wavelink software, and your Stream Deck, whether it's the Stream Deck Mini, Stream Deck, Stream Deck MK2, and Stream Deck XL. I haven't tested it on mobile. I don't have mobile, so I can't answer for mobile. But let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is select our multi-action switch. Here is switch number one, and here is switch number two. So you're gonna see me change these, that way you know what we're talking about between the switches. Now, if you look at the bottom, you'll notice this also changes. So the first action we're gonna do is we're going to select our monitor mix as set monitor mix. So this one, I'm gonna actually set it up for my headset. So here is my headset. Now we're gonna switch to switch number two and we're gonna do the same thing. Set monitor mix. And this one, we are going to select our speakers. There's my speakers. Now the other thing I wanna be able to do, because this is a multi-action switch, right? I want to be able to see which one I'm switching to because this, you could pay attention to the green, you could pay attention to the blue and know which one is which. But we're under switch number one. And what I'm going to do is open up the Stream Deck library icon, mainly because if you have the Wavelink profiles already installed, you get some really cool little icons. And Elgato has already provided these icons for you. So this one is showing a speaker and this one is showing a headset. I find this to be very convenient so I know which one I'm toggling between. And then this one is a speaker. So I can switch now and you will notice that it's switching, but you can't really see that unless you have Wavelink open, right? So it has switched between the headset and the speakers. So we're on our headset and now we're switching to our speaker. I hope this has been helpful for you. And thank you for watching.